rocks. Hi guys, today we're doing with some carrots. Some carrots? And some juice boxes in there. There's some juice boxes in there. I think mum took it out, so. Yeah, they're not even in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, art is going to be <laughs> magnificent. Uh, we have been driving for about an hour now from Ballarat heading towards our first silo art. We are currently at Sister Rocks or Sisters Sisters Rock. Uh, Sisters Rock. Which is over there if you can see that. So Sisters Rocks is at Stall. Stall. And then from Stall we head up to Rapinya, which is one of the first silo arts on the trail. Depends on where you want to start from I guess, but it's on the east side, which is which we're coming from. So yeah the easiest one to start off with and then we'll head up to Sea Lake and around. So they're just rock formation with a few graffitis on it. Let's go, get up. Yeah, come here, come with me. Go, 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 climb, climb, climb. Oh, this mum. Arms down, arms down. Oh, oh, this. Go, go muscles, go. Get up, get up. Oh, this, I'll get up with him. Get him, get up. No, he's getting a little slow. Slow. Oh, slow. Everybody cheer for Molly and say go Molly. Molly, Molly, Molly. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah. Oh, muscles. Oh, Jesus. Go backwards. Yeah, we made it. Molly, I'm sad again. No, come on. Go on, slide down. Slide down. You should bum as you're padding. No, I don't want my weird boy jeans for now. <laughs> Oh. All right, that's done. We are at our first silo art, which is at Rappanyup. Just right there. It was done in 2017 and um, it's Yeah, two local sports people. And it's just embracing the local, how the sports is such a big, big significance. deal in, yeah, yeah, big significance in small rural towns and yeah. regional towns. So. So today, from the start of where we're doing starting the Silo Art Trail, we're doing six. So we're heading from Rappanyup up to Sea Lake. So we're going to be doing covering six silos, and then tomorrow we're going to be going from Sea Lake to Nil, which we cover uh, one, two, three, four silos, and then from Nil around to Horsham, which covers another three. Yeah. So it's 13 silos on the trail art trail. I find it amazing that people can sculpt wood. Oh. Looks like Marley. <laughs> so this actually goes all the way up there. No, we don't have time. We, don't we need have to time. Go. Yeah. There you are on our second silo art, which is Sheep Hills. West. This one is to do with the indigenous culture in the area, and it's when you're crazy. that close and painting something, just to get the detail and painting it like yeah, it's not as though you're getting down and like stepping back every five minutes to see what it looks like. You're yeah. actually like literally doing like a patch yeah. of such a massive. Yeah. How many meters wide that would be? That's about reception. <laughs> yeah. So if you're gonna have this sort of more interactive stuff make sure you have connections don't have zero. Optus <laughs> so the next one will be another 25 minutes from here so we'll see you there alright third <laughs> silo art just in the background there in brim in brim <laughs> So, so the actual silos were built in 1939, but the artwork was done in 2016. Four generations yes. of farmers on the silos, and it's the first silo artwork in Victoria. All right, 
Alright guys, we are at Nullywell Silo Art, our fourth Silo Art today. Um, so the Nullywell Silo Art is the 32nd Silo to be included in the Australian Silo Art Trail. There you go. As a nod to the history of Nullarwil, the dog collar and registration tag has a galah and stick engraved on it. The town name Nullarwil is derived from two Aboriginal words, nulla meaning killing stick and will derived from willcock meaning galah. Completed in 2019, the emphasis of this artwork is on the Kelpie and highlights the importance of working dogs to the farming communities. A little metal art over here. Got a garden full of metal art, oh. so you can go and look through the garden of all the metal sculptures and things. Yeah. 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 Whoa! It's like Bumblebee, isn't it? It's actually pretty cool. This place. Look at the robots that they've created. Amazing. We're off to Sea Lake, our last stop for today. We're leaving Nullarwell now, so it'll take us about half an hour to get there. Yes, and, but you uh, might go and check in maybe at the motel first, and then go and look at the last silo. <laughs> living in a shop tonight. The bathroom itself is as big as our room. Anyway, it's not too bad. So we're gonna stay the night and then tomorrow we'll be heading out towards uh, Neil. Neil. <laughs> Neil. In H Y W L. In H Y W L. Oh yeah. That's so good. this is like literally like colour on sheds and they've like put little oh, yeah. units in them. It's oh, pretty clever. It's actually kind of cool. It's pretty clever. So Wendy, this one's a pretty cool one. It's so this one's to do with the silence of the Victorian outback. Silence of the Victorian like Outback. Like how peaceful and oh, things okay. so, the Victorian Outback. So that's outback what it's Victoria about. Victoria is. And it's got an Indigenous girl on a swing. She's looking over Lake Tyrrell. Absolutely amazing. 